welcome back to my vlog, my channel, whatever you want to call. Um, yes, we're doing a vlog today. I am really excited about this one because I have a new light fixture going in, or going in. Technically, it's already in. I just am pretending like this was filmed before the light installation. Is this lighting weird? Kind of. Today is the day that we are getting our light fixture hung right there, placing that bulb. Um, the previous owner actually had like a hook that made it, I think, more centered, but unfortunately I don't think we're going to be able to do that because I have a ceiling medallion, but I just want to show you what it looks like right now. Sorry, I just woke up. That's why my voice sounds like that. Here is the ceiling medallion. I bought this on Home Depot. It was kind of expensive, but I had a gift card from Home, Home Depot, so I justified it. I don't know, I love it. I saw it on Pinterest's exact one, and I was like, sold. That's the one I want. And right here, under all these boxes, is Hudson Valley light fixture. I just realized I almost forgot to show you guys our new light fixture. How good does it look? Okay, so this is what it looks like with the light on. Um, obviously, I will happily show you guys what it looks like with the lights off, but I love it so much. Okay, ready? One, two, and three. Here is the light fixture. I'm obsessed with it. This is from Hudson Valley Lighting, and that is the wall medallion we went with. It's going to be up there for a really long time. The guy glued it up there. I don't know how long it's going to be up there. It's going to be up there for forever, probably. But I'm obsessed with it. I think it's such a vibe, and it looks perfect. So I went shopping today. I was in the mood to spend some money. I haven't been spending money. I mean, obviously, like, I've been spending money on like things I don't really want to spend money on like groceries and all that fun stuff but I was like in house stuff I've been spending so much money on the house that I was like you know what let's just go buy some stuff I was like you know let's just go browse like Gucci because Cody's birthday is coming up I sit in line at Louis Vuitton and here is what I got Louis Vuitton bum bag. I rented this from Bag Bar Steel back last summer and I loved it. Cody can use it. Um, even though it's not technically a woman, it's technically a woman's bag. Obviously, who cares? Like, a dude can use it. This is 2020, kids. So, Cody's really hyped for me. Um, he has an off-white bum bag that he wears all the time. So, I'm sure he'll steal this from me when I'm not using it. I thought it would be perfect for all my cute fall outfits. And I don't know what came over me. And I just bought it. And I am insane. So, here's my new bag. I'm going to transfer stuff over from my multi-pochette. I bought a french fry on my table. So, here is my card case from Louis Vuitton so old I've got my keys guys check out this that's Cody yeah that's my that's my fiance so back off ladies lip gloss this is my favorite lip gloss this is no regrets a tampon because you never know you never know and another thing I need to keep put those in there oh and some glasses okay is my new purse I'm dead I can't, I'm like proud of myself right now because I'm never, oh, it smells so new. I'm never this spontaneous. Yeah, so I blacked out today and I went to Louis Vuitton and I bought a bag. She's crazy. She's insane. It is what it is, you know. We're, we don't judge here, so. Anyway, that's uh, that's what's new here. Okay, I need, to, I need to put the camera away. You gotta put it. I also need to clean today, but I don't want to clean. You know what? I'm just gonna be real with you guys. This is what my room looks like right now. It's a disaster and I realize that and I am going to clean it today because I can't live like this anymore. It's been a few days. I've had my fun just being a piece of shit, but finally we have to clean this. So my hair's drying. I'm going to clean. Going through my suitcase, determining what needs to be washed. That needs to be washed. What needs to be hung up. I didn't wear it. Shocker. Wash those. 
didn't wear that. That, I don't know what I'm gonna do with. Wash, probably need to wash that. Definitely wash. Has this been out of focus the entire time? I apologize if it has been. Um, hang up. Okay, now here is the shit show that I'm going to clean up. Um, I got really lazy with all the traveling that I've been doing once again and just, uh, yeah, let's, voila! Sorry, ignore my book in the background. She's clean. Okay, so I randomly got this idea to empty out this and I'm actually going to use this to hold all of my makeup or not my makeup my jewelry because i literally never get in this and i'm like okay i should probably utilize it now um so i ordered a bunch of liner from like velvet liner from amazon and i'm gonna diy it it's adhesive velvet so i just stick it to the bottom and i'm gonna make my own organizer out of it i'm gonna put it in my accessories closet this is a really good idea i'm proud of myself so I need to go through all of this now. I had this thing in my first apartment ever and now she's still being used. It's so precious. I think I bought this like so long ago on like Rue La La or something. Oh no, there's only one, le one little thing left. But anyway, I need to clean this. It's so gross. Um, I was scared to like clean it out on camera because I was like, I do not know what is in here. But thankfully there wasn't anything but basically garbage in here. So basically most of it got thrown away because it was all expired. It's time to, oh, these are moist. And there we go. Basically good is new. I mean it needs to like dry out and there's like shit I need to get out of here and like dust it a little bit better but I Clorox wiped it. It's drying and I just am going to put like cut the velvet adhesive and put it down and then I also ordered like ring holders to put in one of them. Probably this one. Um, I'm just going to be able to lay out everything and put it where it needs to be. You guys, I am so proud of myself for how well this turned out. It looks like the ones that you'd buy on Amazon, except, you know, instead of ordering a brand new one and just like throwing this thing out or letting it go to waste, I'm utilizing it. So I'm really excited about that. I'll show you how I have everything organized right now. Obviously things will change as I get more jewelry because Lord knows I get so much jewelry these days, but Here's just kind of like a little peek at my collection, I guess. I don't know. Greetings from my floor. This earring is in my bathroom, so I'd find the other one. But I just have like the earrings that I wear a lot over here. Some bracelets, because I don't have a lot of bracelets. I'm not a big bracelet person. Oh, wow. Look at that engagement ring. Whew. Then over here we have my rings. I have a lot of rings. So a lot of them are from Miranda Fry. Um, it's not really picking up. You can see a little bit better here how they look. They are amazing. This entire row is Miranda Fry. I love Miranda Fry. You can use Sarah. Oh no, I just painted my nails yesterday. You can use Sarah at checkout for 10% off. That's Miranda Fry. Misoma, Misoma. This is, I forget what that one is. But yeah, I just have a ton of random ones here. Then my Chanel earrings that I got not too long ago from a vintage seller. So cute. I'll link her stuff below. Then I've got my 
necklaces I wear a lot. It's a lot of snake chains because I love some snake chains. And I got some HRH collection right there and there. My Miranda Fry. Just my pendant necklaces. And then here, this will be my like more costumey jewelry stuff. So, yeah. That is what we're dealing with. I think it turned out pretty good. I'm proud of myself. Go Sarah. Hey guys. Hello. I went to Trader Joe's earlier today after I got my lash fill. Mmm. We love to see that. And I picked up some things. You guys wanted a Trader Joe's haul on my stories, I'm sure. But I'm going to put it in this video because that's just way more interesting. So the first thing I need to show you guys is the jalapeno seasoned corn and rice puffs. They're crunchy and spicy snacks made with corn, rice, quinoa, and baked to perfection. They're vegan and gluten free. And you guys, this is crack. They put crack cocaine, I think, in each pillow puff. And it just is so perfection. I dare, I'm, this is gonna be a bold statement, but I think they're better than their cheese puffs. This is crack cocaine. Another bold statement. I prefer JoJo's over Oreos. If you don't know this, Trader Joe's like Oreo snack is the JoJo. And also, if you ever get a Halloween Oreo, it's going to taste so much better than the regular Oreos just because they're orange. So I picked these up for Cody. The reason I like these better than Oreos is because of the vanilla cream inside. Oof. Perfection. So we got chocolate pumpkin face cookies with our signature vanilla bean cream. My avocados that I was telling about, I was telling you guys about that are so much better. I had already took eight one, so there's that. These pretzel slims with dark chocolate covering. They were good. I've never had these before, but I snacked on these as well today. I usually pick up the animal crackers from Trader Joe's, but they were out the past two times I've gone, so I've just got this one from Target. Um, but I prefer the Trader Joe's one. I picked up these chili lime burgers, which I have never tried, but I'm excited to give it a go. I always keep the chicken fried rice stocked in my fridge, like at least two bags, because this is our favorite, like when we don't feel like cooking or we can't really agree on something to eat. We usually make chicken fried rice. They're vegetable fried rice. Also, chef's kiss. Amazing. Another great frozen food from Trader Joe's. This is a perfect amount for two people. We love the chicken lo mein. It's really good. And who doesn't love lo mein, you know? I also picked this up for dinner tonight. This is the chicken breast parmesan and marinara sauce. Ooh. I love their broccoli. I know that bagels are like basically pointless calories, but I love bagels and I have no shame in that. I've got the pumpkin bagels, which are some of my favorites. I also really enjoy the pumpkin waffles and also the plain bagels. I love them. Finally, they sliced them. Maybe next year they'll learn to slice the pumpkin bagels, I pray. And then the pumpkin cream cheese spread is my favorite. I'm about to dive in on this later. Got more snacks that I want to show you guys. We've got the JoJo's. These are the vanilla cream ones. I love these ones as well. I prefer these ones especially over the um, regular Oreo vanilla ones because of the vanilla cream. It's just very, very potent in these. I love them. I promise I get healthy stuff too, but that's just not as fun to show. We also love the Scandinavian swimmers. They taste like Swedish fish. Pretzels are amazing. They ran out of the like press pretzel crisps. Um, today they didn't have any in stock, but the honey wheat pretzel sticks, they taste like the bread sticks that were once in those like cheap cheese spread things that we have as kids. They're so good. I love them so much. You guys, I got something else. These are very important things that we must discuss. Okay, so what I'm going to talk to you guys about now are the best condiments that you can get from Trader Joe's. The ranch. You guys, this ranch makes you feel like a fancy bitch every single time you use it. I love it. It's Cody and I's favorite. We don't even like regular ranch anymore. We only like Trader Joe's organic ranch dressing, which is not healthy, but still good. Sweet chili sauce. I've never tried this. Has anyone used this before? Let me know what to put it on. I don't know. The bottle just like looked really pretty and I was like, I'm going to get it. I love the Dijon mustard because it is like whole grain. I love the whole grain. It's expiring soon. Mm. 
but it's so good. I love to make soft pretzels or even dip the pretzel crisps in this. So good. And this is one of my favorite things as well. This is a corn and chili tomato list salsa. Whenever we make like a chipotle bowl at home, we like to use these. These are so good. Also, the frozen chicken is just so good at Trader Joe's. Have I bored you guys enough about my Trader Joe's obsession? Yeah, we're huge Trader Joe's fans. We also really like the burgers. I didn't show you guys that. I just showed you the chili lime ones, but the bison burgers are so good. That is all the non-exciting stuff. I'm sure I'm going to have more stuff to show you guys, especially as the seasons change, because right now it's obviously a lot of autumn stuff in, but if you want me to update you guys once it hits like winter um, with all of my winter favorites, holiday favorites, I will be happy to do that. But yeah, that's just long story long. So yesterday I finally finished putting together my jewelry organizer and I finally have to move this to the closet exactly where it was supposed to be. So I'm gonna do that now. I expected this to be a lot heavier. Ooh yeah. She's fancy, she's official. She's got her jewels Ooh, on fire. Tomorrow, I'm going to the pumpkin patch with my friends Megan and Liz, and I'm so excited. I'm gonna try to take you guys along because who doesn't love a pumpkin patch moment? I obviously haven't been to the pumpkin patch this year, so I'm very, very excited about that. Miller here is excited for me as well. And yeah, I need to pick out an outfit for the pumpkin patch, so maybe I'll take you guys along with that after we eat dinner. That's all, bye. I got this new coat shacket thing from H&M. I'm gonna be doing an entire fall haul because that's always really fun to do on my channel. But I got this jacket from H&M at the actual store the other day. It sold out online. I got it in a small. I wish they had it in a medium just because I really like it to be super oversized. It's already oversized, but I want it to be like very oversized. Ooh, you can tell I just ate some chicken parm. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Cute. But what should I wear? <sighs> There's this new shirt that I got from Revolve that I really want to try on. It's by Girlfriend. Here it is. It's black. I never wear black. Black's not really my vibe. I'm more of like a wearing white kind of gal. But the reason I don't wear a lot of black is because my hair's so dark that I feel like it just makes me look blah. To try this maybe with like a pair of jeans and potentially my new boots that could look cute. But I like to usually do like a brown outfit whenever i go to the pumpkin patch but this isn't the only time i'll go to the pumpkin patch i'll definitely go to the pumpkin patch when i go with cody to the one on 12 south but i just sorry for like the nipples but i just got this top in it's like a sweater vest type thing and since it's not going to be super cold tomorrow i'm thinking this could be really cute this is from zara with these pants from girlfriend denim they're leather pants i feel like that would be really cool like come on sarah you don't need to be wearing this okay but i mean these pants are really cute you can't really see them but i love this top too it's so cute from zara okay so i got this dress also from revolve with these big shoulder pads and i'm wondering if i can make it into a skirt because this dress is like a little on the not pumpkin patch <laughs> vibe side i don't think i'll wear black so this wouldn't be bad we got these jeans on and this top kind of acting like kind of acting like a dress or this dress acting like a top could be cute Hi, Mill. You are so cute. I love you so much. Hello, everyone. Oh, it's hot. So, today I am not going to the pumpkin patch. Apparently, all the pumpkin patches around Nashville are pretty much open only Thursday through Sunday because of like COVID hours and stuff. So, I'm sorry I didn't get to give you guys that footage. But I figured. I still needed to get something done today and I need to finish cleaning my room. I just kind of had to stop because my closet just is like overflowing because I don't have enough hangers. So Cody wants new hangers as well. I don't really want to wait for Amazon. So I'm just going to go to Home Goods. I figured I would give you guys some Home Goods content. It's 84 degrees outside. It was only supposed to be 60. <laughs> have arrived at home goods i took the mic off just because it's so bulky 
and it won't fit my purse. So, if the sound seems a little bit different, it is a little bit different, but it will still be interesting, I promise. At least I'll try. Ooh. Look how pretty these lamps are. But why do I always find the most expensive one? It's so pretty. Gold. Okay, when I said I was taking you guys to Home Goods and I was gonna make it interesting, I was expecting, you know, Home Goods to actually have stuff. It felt like it was going out of business. Like, it literally felt like that Home Goods was going out of business, which makes no sense because, you know, half of Hendersonville's woman population was there. So, my haul, here we go. I got hangers. Exactly what I needed 35 velvet hangers for. $15. I'm pretty sure you can get them on Amazon for cheaper than that, but they always come like broken every single time I've ordered them on Amazon. So we just stick to the things that I know that work, which is home goods. So I told you guys I wasn't going to the pumpkin patch today. Well, that ended up being a lie. So we're going to go to the one on 12 South, which is just basic bitch heaven, basically. And we're just going to take photos, get some pumpkins, fun stuff like that. And I'm going to show you this casual fit that I threw together, ignoring the mess. It's a mess from what I filmed yesterday. But I'm wearing the same set I wore the other day. It's from Camila Cobella Cobella collection from Revolve. I have this jacket from last year from H&M. That is my favorite thing. I found it, a version of it, on Shein. So I'm going to link it in the description box. I've got my Miranda Fry necklaces, these old mango sunglasses, which I love. That was really weird. I should never do that again. Okay, st stabilization is not my strong suit. Here are sunglasses. Earrings are from Pretty Little Thing. And then I've just got sandals on, which doesn't really make sense, but whatever. I don't really truly care that much. Um, these are from Jessica Berman, which is actually what this box is. So, yes. And I'm going to wear my new Louis Vuitton with it. Oh. Look at an angel being perfect over there. Here is the outfit. Cute. Oh my gosh. This entire time, I've had you guys on like a brightness that is just astronomical. So, I apologize for that. But I am going to head to 12 South now. It takes a, I guess I parked too close to the gate, but um, it takes a little bit to get to 12 South because I'm all the way in East Nashville. So. Okay, I've made it to the pumpkin patch. It's right over there. Currently waiting just for my friends to arrive, but I'm so excited. I love the pumpkin patch, even if it's just the 12 South one. Cody says he'll take me to another one, so that's exciting. Uh, guys, we just got to the pumpkin patch. I'm with my animal print friends. Yes. Who's gonna flash the Marilyn Monroe oh, moment? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> gonna take some photos, buy some pumpkins, all that fun stuff. Lydia, are you available on Monday? I sure, I'm sure I am. Liz out there buying her pumpkin, going in for the kill. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Happy Thursday. Today um, I am going to go thrifting. I had a really chill morning today. I watched, hold on, let me put this down. The American Murder Chris Watts story. Um, my H&M package came in the mail, which I'm going to film a haul, fall haul with my stuff that I got from H&M and Revolve, even though I'm like wearing pretty much all Revolve stuff that I've gotten recently. <laughs> Cody is on his way back from a meeting right now and he wanted to join me um, to go thrifting. So he's gonna come with me and we're gonna thrift. We're gonna go to two thrift stores, Southern Thrift and Goodwill. I switch like which thrift store I go to pretty frequently. Um, I don't really have like a designated one. I just kind of rotate through all of the Nashville locations. So 
that's what we're gonna do i've now recruited cody and we are headed to the thrift stores to hopefully find something good um last time cody came with me we found some good stuff and i haven't ha been having any luck re recently so fingers crossed I just found the dress of the year. You guys are gonna die. Not too much luck, just one dress. And now on to good old Goodwill. Look at this, this is terry cloth. Terry cloth is so in right now too. And then show the other thing. Oh yes. For all the football you watch. We are now headed home. It was a quick trip. We were in and out of each place in like 15 minutes and we only got two things each. Right, you only got two, got two shirts. Yep. Which I showed you guys. And then I just got a vase and then that dress, which I don't even know if I showed you that, but gonna head home to Miller. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys what we picked up from the thrift store, a miniature thrift haul, if you will. The only thing oh, that I got was, or from Southern Thrift, was this dress with shoulder pads. That is like this checker print in the exaggerated collar. Such a vibe. It's gonna be a fun one to wear. Then, it intrigued me. It's so cool. And it was only $3.99. I felt like it would look good over here. While I have you guys here, I got a package in the mail today from Gymshark, which is so crazy. I've never ordered from Gymshark before and I figured I would actually go through the things that they sent over because I've never tried them. You guys know I'm pretty loyal to Aloe Yoga and then also um, the Core 10 line from Amazon. I love it. I have an entire blog post on it on my blog. You should read it. I loved Honestly, I've been very bad about working out this month ever since I went on those trips. I just like haven't, which is bad. But I have new gym clothes, so once my period is like the every days are over, not to be TMI, I will be back at the gym and I will be wearing these items. So the first thing I got was this ultra seamless crop top. And I got everything in a size medium. I wasn't sure how the sizing would be. Oh, this is cute. Okay, yes. I was actually very surprised by the prices of Gymshark. It's a lot cheaper than, you know, Alo Yoga and what are the other places? I can't think of Lululemon. But then I got the matching seamless leggings for that. Oh, these are nice. These are super stretchy. Can you believe that's medium? She looks tiny. She's gonna make me snatch. Next thing I got was these Vital Boost leggings in dark sunset pink marl. Also in a medium. Cute. These ones don't seem as like, oh, I didn't realize the butt is wrong. Roosh. I don't really like that when that happens, but that's my fault. So, oh, I like the bottom of the the cuffs that's cool the matching sports bra i feel like all the girls at the gym i go to wear gymshark okay cute i love this i would have loved this as a cross-country runner everybody loved to do the whole layered sports bra look um in high school and this would have been way my vibe so love that that's gonna be great especially for those girls who have more tit if you know what i'm saying hey guys so i actually wanted to end it this vlog here because i don't know how much footage i have but it's friday i started this vlog last friday so it's been an actual week um so if you want to subscribe i would definitely appreciate that follow me on instagram sarah bell elizabeth you'll find me there um and the next week vlog is going to be it's gonna be lit so yes Get excited. I'm excited. Until next time, see ya.